guys. Okay, so I was gonna do a tutorial on how to use the Mulberry Shadow Sense for blush. Um, and I'm, I was also gonna show you how to use it for eyes and lips, but I kind of messed up the video I was making for eyes. Um, so I already put the Shadow Sense, the Mulberry Shadow Sense on my eyes. I just blended it um, all the way up through just above my crease. Um, and then to put it underneath, if you don't want to switch your brushes, just squeeze it so it's flat and then do it underneath. Um, okay, so that's for my eyes. All right, so for blush, there's a few ways you could do it. You could dot it onto your cheeks and then blend it in. I'll do that on one side and then I'll do it directly on the brush on the other and you can pick which one you think comes out better. The key if you're using this for blush is to just keep blending because um, it's super, super blendable, but if you don't take the time to do it, depending on how you put it on, it could just stay in the spots that you put it on. So just keep blending. Okay. That looks good. I might have used too much, but I think it looks really pretty. <laughs> I, this is a really good shade of, for blush for me. Um, it works with my skin. So, okay. So that was just dotting it on my cheeks. Um, you could also just like dab it right onto your blush brush. I'm going to use my hand because that's a lot right there. And now, because I put too much on my brush, I'm gonna get one of my other brushes that I use for foundation and use this to blend it in a little bit more. I feel like Bob Ross sometimes when I'm like, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> it's fine, you can fix everything. Everything is fixable, except um, liquid eyeliner. That stuff is never fixable. You'll just ruin your whole face. Okay. All right. So pretty. I love this shade. Okay. So then I use it for my eyes. I use it for my cheeks. And then you can also use it for your lips. Oh, guys, I need to take care of my lips. I haven't like worn lip scents or lip gloss or anything in a few weeks. I guess like two weeks maybe since I got sick when I had the flu. I don't know why whenever I'm sick like I my lips just get so dried out and I need to start like using the polisher and lip balm and lip scents again because these poor babies <laughs> are so neglected. Okay so to put it on as lipstick um literally just use it like it's any other lip applicator. The only thing about using this on your lips is you just have to make sure you give it enough time to dry because it takes a little bit of time. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna add another shade to my eyes because I don't really like doing the same shade on my eyes, cheeks, and lips unless it's the bronze blush sense because that's just so warm and beautiful and it works on all of those. But for this, I wanna add a little bit of an accent to my eyes because I don't want it to be so flat. Um, so I'm thinking garnet is always a beautiful accent shade. So it's like a kind of like a chocolatey color, but I feel like it has like a reddish brick undertone to it. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna use a little bit and do it in the corner and up into my crease. I have Rachel Ray, I can hear her on the TV downstairs. I feel like she's gotten stranger with age. Okay. See how that just adds a little bit 
of like dimension and I don't know, this little something something. If I'm not doing mulberry all over my face, a lot of times mulberry is literally all I'll put on my eyes and it just looks so pretty for like an everyday. Okay. So that's better, I feel like. And then I might, just for funsies, add a little of the pearl, sandstone pearl shimmer just to the inner corners, just to brighten it up a little. stuff okay I wonder if this is dry yet once it dries it acts like lip sense where you can rub it and it doesn't come off but it does not act that way if you don't let it dry so don't don't not let it dry and then tell me it doesn't work that way <laughs> okay yeah there we go so it has a matte finish to it so if you like matte it's perfect for you um, I'm just gonna put on mascara and then I'll come back and show you the finished look all right, so I added mascara and this is the final look. It's so pretty. It's just like a, just such a pretty like natural something something shade, you know, like when you don't wanna go too crazy. And I think it makes for a really pretty spring look um, and probably a really nice natural look in the summer. So if you guys have any questions, the answer is blend. <laughs> um, but really you can let me know if you have any questions, but. Um, yeah, have a good weekend guys. Bye.